figured I'd do a uh, about a hundred hour review on the Massey Ferguson 2606H. Uh, I've had this thing for about 10 months and I figured I would share a few things I like about it, a few things I don't, but uh, hopefully everybody will enjoy. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, I should have a few videos, even some shorts uh, on the channel. So check those out. Uh, there's quite a few with the tractor. Uh, so let's get started. This is the Massey Ferguson 2606H. It has a 911X loader. It is a 65 horsepower tractor, has the ag tires, four wheel drive, uh, quick attach bucket, skid steer, uh, ground level fueling, has steps to get up, does have a uh, shield block uh, dirt and debris from getting up into the operator station. Uh, let's see. Up top, it has the shuttle shift. High low range, parking brake, PTO, four wheel drive, clutch, dual brakes, one for each side. It has a clip that uh, you can move to use both brakes or you can move it up and just use one or the other. Loader, throttle, foot throttle, gear shifter uh, that's the lift for the three point has draft control and position control and this tractor depending just depends some of them have one remote and this one actually has two rear remotes so let's see Uh, pretty sure that the rear tires were loaded. I don't believe that the front ones are. Uh, does make a big difference. Uh, have the Dirt Dog six foot tiller on the back. It does really good. Uh, rear work lights. There's the uh, hydraulic. pieces for the rear remotes uh, all in all it's a really good tractor i'll show you something else while i'm thinking about it there is a knob and i've had this thing for 10 months and it wasn't until a couple weeks ago that i figured it out that knob up top you can adjust i believe it's a spring in the seat and you can adjust the, te the tension on it uh, based on how much you weigh. And if you don't have it set right, which I'm kind of a smaller guy anyway, and I didn't have it set right, so it, it gets a little bouncy going down the road. But after I got it set, it runs, it rides good, it does good. Um, something else while I'm thinking of it did not know this till a little while back and a lot of the videos you can kind of notice that i'm leaning forward to reach the uh control for the loader i never did like that about the tractor it was kind of aggravating but i realized that you can adjust it right here you have two bolts and you can loosen those and it'll drop this whole piece down and it'll come a little closer to the seat so after i figured that out it's been a little more pleasant to use uh, haven't really done a whole lot with this thing as far as maintenance wise i mean i've greased the everything on the loader and stuff underneath and everything and i've changed the oil which isn't too bad 
pretty simple to get to. I'm pretty sure it has two uh, drain plugs in the oil pan underneath. The biggest aggravation that I had is trying to put oil in it right here on the side and you can't really get to it because of the loader. That's the worst part about changing the oil. But other than that, I mean, that's not really that big of an issue. Uh, it has plenty of power. Um, pop the hood. There's the engine. I believe it's got a 2.6, 2.5 samson diesel turbo diesel engine in it uh it does really good something that i did like about this uh tractor is it don't have the regen uh it still has agr but no def no regen mode it runs clean i think it still meets the tier four emissions on it but uh none of the extra junk that you have to pay extra for just for emissions so that's a plus from my understanding the uh samson diesel is blueprinted after the old perkins motors that they put in the old massey ferguson's so that's one reason why I got this tractor. They said from everything I understand that it's pretty well set up as the same thing as the old Masseys. Um, so the old ones, they run for a long time. You can't really beat them. So that's one reason why I went with this tractor. Uh, I did have a Kubota. L2501, um, it, it was a good tractor, but it's, it's a big change going from 25 horsepower to a 65 horsepower tractor, but, uh, all in all, I mean, this, this is a pretty good tractor. I like it. It runs good. It's got plenty of power. Uh, the loader works good as I don't remember the lift capacity on it, but it does, it does really good. And it's heavy, something else you can change these, I don't know what you'd call it, the pans and the wheels and adjust it to where the wheels stick out further and gives you a wider stance. Uh, something else about this tractor is The differential is offset, <coughs> excuse me, it's offset to where the tractor can sit a little lower to the ground and it's not right underneath the oil pan and everything. You can sit lower to the ground, gives you a lower stance. I don't know the exact measurements uh, from it compared to the Kubota version, but uh, it is a little bit shorter. Something else while I'm thinking of it, this tractor did come with a level indicator. All you have to do is line this up with this and that's your level indicator. And a lot of other tractors have it, but this one don't. It does not have the turnbuckles, which to me getting used to this was pretty weird, but it's fairly simple to use. All you gotta do is pull this up, pull this pin out, and the whole arm comes loose. And whenever you uh, put something else on it, uh, you can pretty well set the implement wherever you need it to be. And all you have to do when you do all that is twist this until the hole lines up for the pin to go in. And it's that way on both sides. Uh, also, when you're backing up and trying to get close to uh, hook up or something, you can push this down and these will slide out. So you're not having to jump up 
on the tractor over and over just to get it lined up perfectly so that does help and something else you can adjust not just one side up and down you can adjust both so the tractor does do very well with that it's fairly simple to use something else i will mention that i do not like about the tractor it come with the draw bar and don't know if you've noticed but if you have the draw bar on and you turn the pto on it will rub so just the fyi the draw bar does very well it's good for uh, hooking a chain to and pulling logs and stuff like that but you do need to remove it which isn't a big issue but you need to remove it before you hook something up with the pto and it does have a toolbox and it is metal that's pretty nice to have metal cap that went on the pto shaft a few pins and tools and stuff uh, this is actually the piece that is put on for the uh, draw bar it pins on and there's a bolt that i put back in the hole underneath that you just bolt it back on so, cast iron rear end everything's heavy built metal it's got the old school fenders so that's a few things i like and one thing that i don't about the tractor uh, ag tires they are awesome they dig in good they do a great job you can get traction a whole lot better than you can with r4 tires uh, the industrial tires um, in a lot of ways it's it's a lot better uh, especially doing loader work and stuff it's it's great you can dig in the tractor has plenty of power to push it uh, but don't know if you've noticed but this is what it'll do to your yard especially when you make several trips in the same spot like i did uh, i mean it is what it is cost a little more to sow some grass seed but i guess that's just part of it but i hope that everyone enjoyed the video i hope it was somewhat informational don't really know what to say i mean it's been great tractor don't really have any complaints uh it does good but if anyone has any questions please comment uh if you haven't already please like subscribe and uh, thanks for watching